you are gonna make any impact, if you're gonna put your fingerprints on life, you're going to have to do it through an anointing. And it was the sinless one who had the anointing because the word Christ actually means the anointed one. The hope within you that it talks about, that Paul talks to the Colossians about, was Christ in you, the hope of glory. Well, he just said it different than Jesus in you. No, he didn't. He used the word Christ within you, and it is referring literally to the Messiah, Jesus, the Messiah Christ. But as it applies to us today, it has to do with the anointed one. The anointing with, within you is your hope of glory, is your hope of making a difference in this world. Of your, it's your hope of demonstrating the glory of God in your sphere of influence. It is Christ in you. It is not Jesus the Christ in you. He's talking about the anointing of the Spirit of God within you it is your hope that you can show the glory and demonstrate the glory of God in this earth. We make a big deal out of the issue of sin, and I, you know what? It's already been solved, number one. And plus, I'm not saying that, ah, sin it up, who cares? I'm not going to worry about that. We need to have a focus of living a moral life. But... We make a big deal out of that. The church makes a big deal out of behavior modification so that we're good people instead of making an emphasis on the Christ within you, the hope of glory, the anointing within you, the hope of glory, the power of the Spirit of God within you. Because the reason you're still in this earth and didn't die and go to heaven as soon as you said, yes, Jesus, is so that you could carry the Christ in this earth. So you could demonstrate the power of Christ in this earth, in your sphere of influence.